Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to resolve that issue of our leaves not wiggling along with the wind as well. So if we take a look at our master ivy leaf uh, material, it's just dead simple. We've just used the same Quixel assets that we that we reference in, in Houdini, but we need to add that same wind setup that we have on the stem. So let's very quickly drop down the nodes we require. So we need that vertex color information. We need a simple grass wind node as well. And we can plug that into the world position offset. And again, what we want to do is just multiply that green channel onto our values, okay? So we can make use of the, um, the material function that we created in the last video. And just drag that in there to get our values in. Uh, and then drop down some multiply nodes. Okay, and make those connections. So remember we are using the green channel as our wind ramp. And then we'll make those connections to our material function. And then the intensity goes there. And for this additional map, we can just use the opacity map red channel as well in there. All right, so if we hit apply now, we've got that system set up, but currently we don't have any vertex color on our leaves. The vertex color only exists on the stem section. Okay, so as you can see, there's no motion there coming from the leaves. So what we need to do is um, we need to pack in that vertex color information onto our leaves. Okay, so we've got vertex color here on the stem. We need to transfer it across onto our leaves, all right? And we can do that with an attribute transfer. So if I put that down, it's got two inputs, this node, and it requires the geometry to transfer the attributes to, which is our first, which is our leaves section here, and an input from where the attribute is coming from, okay? So if you put the display flag on there, and the attribute that we're interested in transferring is a vertex attribute, and you can see currently at the moment, these leaves don't have any vertex color coming in. So if we, in the attribute transfer, just tell it to transfer CD, you can see now we're getting that color information on our leaves geometry. Now, we're only interested in, in the green channel. We don't want the red channel because that was our color blend, if you remember. So we can put down a wrangle node and just manipulate that uh, geometry attribute there. So on the wrangle node, we're working on vertices this time. And we can just reset that color attribute to be zero. Okay. So we've still got our green attribute, which is our wind ramp and but we don't need that red, so we've deleted that effectively by resetting it to zero. We'll connect that attribute wrangle up into our merge, and that will bring it into our system. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom of my node network. Just gonna double check in the viewport, and as you can see, our leaves are tinted green. Um, we, can, we can test it by just going, right-clicking on our Ivy generator and bringing up the parameters here. And on our wind ramp, we can just sort of see if that's working. And there you go. Oh, in fact, it's the red channel, isn't it, we want to keep. So I'm going to make a change there. So it's the green channel we want to delete. So let me double check that. Yes, yeah, the wind ramp is on red. So that's the one that we want to delete. Okay, so let me just test that again. So I'll bring up my parameters and just test that that's working. And there you go. You can see that our wind values are tinting those leaves red as well as the stem. And as you can see, we're getting a nice variation in, because of the different lengths of the stems. That's working quite well for us. So let's bring this over into Unreal and see how this is working. So with the last node selected, I'm going to go File, Asset, Save. And then just re-import that digital asset by right-clicking and then rebuild all instances. And it should finish cooking. 
and we should start to see that our leaves are moving but they're not because we're still referencing the green channel remember it was the red channel that was my bad my mistake so we can just make that connection into the red channel hit save And now you can see that our, our leaves are now moving with the with the stems as well using that same noise pattern there's a, a few tweaks that we want to do we're starting to get a bit of a disconnect between the um the original leaf and the stem so that might be something we, we could look to fix um but functionally you know that's the kind of effect that we wanted to to demonstrate and from from a distance you know you can you can't really pick that out um but yeah that's something that i'd, I'd go and look i'd go to um look to fix on that okay so that was our vertex color information done and don't forget you've got the control of this wind ramp here you can you can tweak this uh, ramp position here in the viewport to really uh, fine tune how you want this this wind to occur um, so as you can see now it's just the very very tips of those leaves that are, are sort of fluttering in the wind um, or alternatively you know you could drag it and have all of the uh, you could do something like this and have the whole thing kind of gently warm so it's something that you can play around with that simple that wind function that we created you could tweak the values on that and get something that works for your scene um, but in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can set up our light uvs for our light maps because um, currently at the moment we have overlapping UVs on our UV coordinate layout just by the nature of what we built it so we, we are going to create a second set of UVs that are used specifically for baking um, and that's obviously very important if these are going to be um, using baked lighting in, in Unreal so we'll do that in the next video thanks